Good day sir, good day classmate and good day to the Charles Aaron from NS1A4. So this time I'm gonna illustrate the proper action to avoid pollution on the head on situation. So the action to avoid pollution should always be positive. Make a big alteration of course and or speed. Made in good time which means early. Seaman like do not make the situation worse. For any other ship in the vicinity, access what they may have to do. In restricted visibility, you must proceed at safe speed. Rule 6 detailed what a safe speed is always have your engines ready for immediately maneuver so that all options to avoid pollution are available. So, for example, in this crossing situation, obviously the blue vessel is going to have to keep up with the way of the green vessel. A small alteration, yes, they made a bit of alteration, but the green vessel has been able to see what they're doing. And of course, in the blue one get closer to make another alteration. And this is what we mean by series of alteration. It's not obvious to the green vessel what the blue vessel is doing. And of course, the blue vessel has to continue making more alteration until they get clear instead of the, what they should do is make one single bold alteration. Now, when the green vessel is looking over then, they immediately see that the blue one is taking one action. They can see a complete change in an aspect, seeing the vessel head on now instead of seeing the broad starboard aspect. Look at speed alteration in this case. The blue base is going to have her the speed that she's instantly half the speed of approach to try and avoid collusion. And look at how close she gets to that green vessel. That alteration of the speed was not an effective alteration. And bear in mind in this diagram, uh, you see in a uh, alteration happened in real life examples you allow time to run that speed of from this we can see alteration of course alone may be the most effective action it's immediately obvious it is very easy to undertake and you don't need allow all the time to let speed run off your business Hello, sir good day i am Michipan de guzman rc and it's 1A4. Our topic for today is state the required range when to take execute the action. Any alternation of course or speed to action to avoid collision shall if the circumstances of the case admit be large enough to readily apparent to another vessel observing visually or by radar a succession of small alternations. Of course, any speed should be avoided for example is this crossing situation obviously the blue vessel is going to help keep up the way green vessels if they just make a small alternation alternation they made bit of alternative but the green vessel has not been able to see what they doing and of course as the blue one get closer they got to make another alternate alternation and this what we mean by a series of alternation is not obvious to the green vessels what they the blue vessel is doing and of course the blue vessels has not continued making more and more alternation until they get clear instead of what they should do is make a one single bold alternation now when the be green vessel is looking over they can immediately see that the blue one has taken action, they can see complete change in aspect. They actually to seeing the vessel head how uh, instead of seeing the uh, board starboard. Hello everyone, my name is Imam Jabber from BSMT S1A4. This is a video presentation about uh, for avoid collision. Um, crossing port approach. Uh, Vessel A is a considered the giveaway way vessel. 
as the giveaway vessel A must the take early and subtle action to keep her clear and avoid crossing the stand on the vessel V. Vessel A must blow one short blast and alter cross to starboard. Vessel V must blow one short blast to indicate understand and maintain course. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning, mates. This is Mitri Puman de la Peña reporting about state and illustrate when was to alter course again to resume on original course. Um, this is one of the example. Any action taken to avoid collision shall be taken in accordance with the rule of the partial if the circumstances of the case admit the positive made in ample time and with due regard to observance of the good seamanship. Any alternation that alternation any alternation of the course and or speed to avoid collision shall if continue if the circumstances of the case that need to be large be enough readily apparent to other vessel observing visually or by radar a succession of the small alternate alteration of the course and our speed should be avoided if there is sufficient C room alternation of course alone be most effective action um, situation provided that is made in the time is substantial and does not result in another close quarters situation. So this is the <clears throat> this is the illustration for the alternation to co uh, in alter altered course again to resume on the original course. There you go. Hello sir and hello mates. I'm a chipman Jason Partosa and NS184 and I illustrate when was the time alter course to return the original course line. Requires a vessel constraint by a hair drop to navigate with particular caution having full regards to her special condition according to the rule 3. Definitions such as Vessel is severely sever restricted in her ability to deviate from the course she is following. It is also probable that a vessel constra constrained by her drop will be severely limited in her ability to change her speed. Among the factors to be taken into account in determining uh, safe speed are the manu maneuver ability of the vessel with special reference to stopping distance and turning ability in the prevailing conditions in the draft in relation to the available dip of water. It is therefore doubtful uh, whether a vessel constrained by her drop would be justified and proceeding at full speed when other vessels are in the vicinity and a good look out by sight. Uh, hearing rather in other available means will not miss, miss out any targets. The next important factor for good watchkeeping is to determine of risk of collision, of collision exists. Risk of collision shall be deemed to exist if the compass bearing of an approaching vessel does not approach change. That's all, sir. Thank you.